Welcome back to Rain Heavy. Yeah, Rain Heavy. That sounds good. Evening. Good evening to you, sir. Can I help you, sir? Oh, um. I hope so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. <laughs> uh, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. I have nothing more to say. Well, you're gonna get more kids dead. Hmm. The killer has kidnapped another victim. A ten-year-old boy. Like your son, Risa. I have four days before we <coughs> find his body on a deserted stretch of wasteland. No one did anything to save my son. Move along, sir. Uh, no. Uh, you may know something that could help save other people's lives. I was unable to save the life of my own son. I do not see how I could save the lives of other people. Thanks for the help. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out, and at least I won't go away completely empty-handed. In the back of this door, to the right. Thanks. Chocolate donuts. <laughs> I can get myself some of those. Um, grab myself some vegetables as well. Vegetables. I don't. Uh. <laughs> what? What? Okay. Well, I have no. I have no problem being all sneaky, beaky like. All sneaky, mate. You like? Good evening, hmm. sir. <clears throat> oh, he's so gonna rob the place. Look at him. Something in particular? Give me what you got in register. <laughs> Jesus. Don't fucking try anything. Um, I mean, register, you sure. Put the money on the counter. Just go get him. Shit, are you deaf or what? Are you gonna open that fucking register or not? What do I do? I don't know. Grab something and he'll whack him over the head. Steal that money from me. I have worked very hard to earn it. Uh. You cannot have it. What did you say? You're out of your fucking uh, mind. I don't know. You don't get it, do you? I'm gonna Can I like sneak, right sneak him? Do what I say How can you not now? see me? Look at me. <laughs> I'm just gonna that go head first. I asked you now to leave. What about? It is too late. Are you serious? Look. Oh, Goddamn idiot! Open the window. Wait. <gasps> oh. Oh. Come Fuck. here. Damn it! I, I didn't know. Come here now. I wasn't looking at the screen. Don't shoot me. Don't move. Oh, Jesus, I thought you were going to shut me then. Hands you were going to shut me. Put your fucking hands up or I'll shoot. I'm putting them up. Putting them up. All right, just just reason. Look, it's not worth it. Put the gun down and just walk away. You giving me advice? I'll yeah. give you some fucking advice. <laughs> uh, I'm not No, no, just come. Don't panic. Let's just stay calm. Nobody here wants to hurt you. No, we're all just gonna be cool, and everything will be all right. My fingers are getting tired. I'm cool, man. Everything's gonna be all fucking right. Just don't shoot anyone. All right. Oh, I'm moving. All right. All right. Um, name. Uh, my name's Scott. What about you? What's your name? Andrew. My name's Andrew. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, help. You don't really want to shoot anybody, do you? I'm sure we can find a way out of this mess, right? Keep, okay, come on. All right, um, killer. You're not a killer, are you? You just want a few extra dollars. No blood on your hands. No, I'm not a killer. I ain't no killer. Don't shoot anyone. All right, uh, effective. Um, I'm not, uh. Do you have anyone you care for in your life? A, a girlfriend, maybe? A family? I think he's good. I love a son. Yeah. yeah. Oh, girl. A little girl. I got a little girl. She won't be proud of you doing this. Her name is Jessica. What would Jessica think if she saw you here? Ask yourself. What would happen to her if things go wrong? We're well? actually gonna do something. <gasps> did we act? Nice try. For a second there, you almost had me believing all your shit. Wait, what? And now, give me the money. Are you kidding? 
You son of a bitch! I was with the, you know, screw Jessica, I don't care. Alright, yeah. Punch you in your freaking nose. No, you don't do that to me. Get, yeah. What? Tried being nice, does not work. You should probably take the gun, but. A thousand thank you, sir. I don't know what would have happened if you had not been well, here. At least I didn't come by for nothing. Have a nice day. When my boy, Razor, disappeared, I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. I do not understand what it means, but I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. Can I? Hmm. Let's take a bit of a look-see. Oopsie doodle. <laughs> Please, take the box if it can be of any use to you at all. It did not help me to save Reza, but <coughs> maybe it will help you find the other little boy. You should probably call the police uh, about the, the dude with the gun, you know? Um. Oh. I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. I can see now that I was wrong. You were dead wrong. Um, okay. I'm gonna leave this episode here, and I'll see you guys in whatever part is next. I don't even remember what's the number, so see you then.